Hey YouTube, these are my whites smoke jumpers, black with steel toe. This is um, after a week of work in the heavy equipment shop that I work in at a gold mine up here in Alaska. Next, I'll be showing you each boot a little closer, some of the wear after about eight months of uh, pretty heavy duty use and then after that I'm gonna take the time clean them up and show you what a good leather protector like Obanoff's will uh, actually do for caring for your boots as you can see here there's some pretty good wear on the toe and a uh, stitch has come free Uh, some good good wear along the uh, bend at the at the toes Nothing too significant uppers are in great shape. They stay uh, under a pair of coveralls all day Back of the boot as well as the uh, actual soles real good shape instep Hasn't broken free. Um, they aren't completely waterproof as many of you know however um, with some good treatment with Obanoffs, they do hold up pretty well and fare fairly decently um, for water resistance. Here's uh, its mate. This is the left boot. Same thing. Um, wear is pretty decent considering the abuse that these, uh, these boots see. There's a little nick at the uh, heel. They're pretty dirty, um, as is, which, as we all know, dryness kills uh, kills this leather. So I'm going to get these cleaned up and uh, properly treated with open offs. Toes on um, this boot are actually worse, even though there's no pop stitching. Um, just with nicks and gouges and that from dragging my feet across engines and heavy equipment all day.